Hey everybody, doing a three month update video on my solid 24 karat gold pendant from Monet. Now this is the Rising Phoenix Medallion and I have been using this every day. I don't take it off in the shower. I wear it to sleep, pools, beaches, jacuzzis. It is just my daily setup and I love it so much and I'm gonna continue to do these update videos for months to come, for years down the line because I haven't really seen many people do update videos like this with high purity and I wish I would have seen some content like this when I was first looking in when I was first getting into the jewelry game so if this helps you out I'm really really happy about that but also I just want to highlight that I have not cleaned this piece okay I know a lot of people go to jewelers to get their stuff cleaned and make sure that everything's all nice this gets cleaned when I get cleaned in the shower okay so I haven't noticed any soap scum. I haven't noticed a difference between how it is now versus how it was in that very first video where I showed you guys my new setup. And you can compare from this video to the previous video that I made if you really want to see if there's any drastic differences. If you pick up on anything, that's great. But as for me, this thing is just so comfortable. You know, it's about the size of a US dime. A lot of the medallions on Monet's website are the size of a dime. The other ones that I've seen, like the Eternite medallion, those that are like $1,500 are probably the size of a little bit bigger than a quarter, but for the most part, everything else besides that and the sundial are about the size of a US dime. And if you want, you could put a dime to your chest, see if that is something you'd be comfortable with. But let me tell you that even for me, right, when I first got this pendant, before I even put it on my neck, I was like, dang, that seems kind of small. It, it seems pretty tiny, you know what I mean? But let me tell you that in person, this really just draws a lot of attention from the eye. Whenever I'm with people and they see this, they love it. I have gotten so many compliments on this pendant right here because people just... They tell me that it's like the most beautiful piece of jewelry that they've seen. They tell me, they're like, where did you find something like this? I've never seen gold like that. You know, and again, I just want to remind you that here in the United States, 10 karat, 14 karat is the norm, you know? And to, if you don't know, 10 karat is, I believe, 41.7 or 0.9% gold purity. And the rest is mixed with other like cheaper alloys. And 14 karat is 58.5% solid well, gold purity and then mixed with cheaper alloys like copper as well. So that's how you get a different color. But this is like straight up 24 karat gold. And it is something that people just love. And I do wear this and my heavy link as this is basically my daily setup, what you see here on my neck. I'm not always having my chains out because for me, I, I don't know, I just, I like the look of them. Um, but I'm not always trying to have everybody see it all the time. It depends on kind of what I'm wearing. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just, I have had people in conversations with me and then their eyes just trend downward and then they'll just slowly reach for my necklace and be like, wow, this is nice and it's pretty. They're like, this is, and they're also surprised with the weight of the pendant. They're like, this is actually pretty heavy. You know, this is about 6.76 grams. And for something this small, you're not really expecting something to be weighty. You know, you're expecting something light, like the typical plated pieces that most people get their hands on. And so when people actually hold my pendant, they're like, oh, damn, this is this is something special right here. And people ask me where I get it from all the time. And like I said, just it's a crowd pleaser. People really do love the Phoenix Rising, Rising Phoenix, Phoenix Rising. <laughs> medallion now for me i i don't bench press so i think that would probably be the one thing like if you bench press a lot and then you have the pendant out then maybe if the barbell is consistently hitting that area if you do have your pendant hanging in the area that it's going to get hit maybe something might happen but honestly i've actually dropped this pendant a couple times when i was making before i was making these videos like i would literally have my camera set up or my phone set up and then I would try to take it out, right? And then the pendant would fall on the ground. I'm like, oh shit. And I look at it and it's fine. All right. I've, I've heard so many people in my comment section say that their jeweler told them that, oh, like the, their, the 24 karat chain or their 24 karat bracelet or pendant fell on the ground and all of a sudden it broke 
or it's smashed or it's just like in pieces or it full, totally bent. I just, I don't know, this is really good quality 24 karat solid gold. And that has not happened. You know, I do have hardwood floors. So, I mean, who knows? Like, again, with jewelers in particular, they are going to try to sell you on lower purity because they make more money off of you if they can do that. Um, so you are, if you do go to a local jeweler, just be ready for them to shit talk high purity and tell you, oh, it's not worth it. Just get 14, get my 10 carat instead. You're going to hear all that jargon. And I'm here to tell you that this, like once you do try on a 24 karat piece and you compare it to your 14 karat, you will see a significant difference. And I'm not here to shame any, anybody, by the way. Okay. If you like wearing 14 karat, that's how I started off. And I, you know, I really did like it and it was perfect for the time that I was wearing it. But when I do just like see both chains are like the pendant versus a 14 karat chain, there is such a significant difference. I've made videos comparing the two that you could really see the coloring difference right there. And I also just kind of want to let you know that there, there are some comments I've received from people that are like, I want to get into 24 karat gold, but I'm worried people are going to think it's fake. And honestly... If you're rocking the real thing, who really cares what people think? You know, like if you're wearing it to try to flex on somebody, then don't get it in the first place. It has to be something that you actually want for you. That you, when you're by yourself and you're running errands and you kind of see it in the mirror, when with whatever you're doing, you're like, oh yeah, I, I like having my gold with me. But don't not get it because you're worried that people are going to think it's fake. Like I don't care about people's opinions with what I like to wear for myself. You know what I mean? So, and I will tell you that the people that have seen me in this, that have interacted with me when I was wearing my gold, they're not gold connoisseurs. These aren't people that are super into jewelry, but they can immediately tell that this shit was a big deal in comparison to what they wear and what other people around them wear. So I did tell them exactly, you know, where I got it from and where they could look it up. And they were like, oh my God, they sell this sort of stuff? They did not know that real gold looks this color. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like up close. Um, and it's always it's always funny when you see how shocked people get, um, but they really just fawn over the color of it, over the weight of it. And man, I just, I really love this pendant. And by the way, the chain that it's on is a solid 22 karat Franco chain from Hawaii Rope Chains. That's where I got it from. I'll put links for both of them in the comment section below. And I do have a discount code for uh, Hawaii rope chains in case you want to save some money. And it's not an affiliate discount link, by the way. I don't get anything off the back end, but I've just had a lot of followers basically tell me that they've seen me wear it and they want to buy it. So the guy that owns Hawaii rope chains is like, yeah, sure, I'll set you up with the discount code. But again, it benefits the buyer, does not benefit me whatsoever i hope y'all are seeing that i am so sorry like i i i really need to get like a camera or something that i could see what y'all see but let me try to even bring it a little bit closer let me show you the back oh right here the back of it says manet and then it has the 24 karat stamp I do love the old school vibe with this pendant because it's not like a perfect finish. You know, it's not supposed to be like a perfect finish. It's almost kind of like, like I said, like old school. You know what I mean? Like something that was just like dug up the ground and then like formed into a circular pendant. I, I kind of like that a little bit. You know what I mean? So I hope y'all could see that. That's what it looks like with... Franco chain. Um, do you want to see it? There is. Is there a scratch there? No, it's not really a. Maybe. Is that? I'll let y'all be the judge of that. Now, of course, if you're very anal about scratches and stuff like that, I could see how something with a flat surface like this might drive you nuts and you might be really worried about constant scratching and all that but for me i am definitely not tripping about it 
Should have been hopefully a better visual for you all. And I'm really excited actually, because I just got another thing from Monet that I am excited to throw on. It's another medallion. It's the St. Christopher medallion. And I've been wanting like a saint pendant, you know, for, for, um, for a while now, you know, when I was rocking 14 karat, I did have like a religious piece that I was wearing and there's just something about them that brings me comfort and it just didn't really go well with this chain in particular. So I am happy that I'm going to have something else to, to rock and I can't wait to share that with y'all. But three months, three months down the road, this thing literally looks the exact same as the first time that I did get it. And I'm going to continue to wear it the same way that I told you in the beginning, like pools, beaches, jacuzzis, wear it to sleep, wear it when I'm showering, all of that. I don't really plan to get this cleaned, to be completely honest with you. Even if this were to fall into mud, I would probably just pick it up and wash it off. I'm not going to go pay for somebody to get it all polished and all that. And again, there is no discoloration here. It's not turning green. Um, you don't really, you don't have to worry about that when you do have solid pieces, but definitely a thumbs up. Beautiful, beautiful piece right here. And it's going to continue to be my daily setup until perhaps this new pendant comes around and I could switch them up every once in a while. But for me, I'm kind of like a creature of habit. I, I, when I find something I like, that is what I rock with. I'm not constantly trying to find the next best thing. You know, when I find something I really love, I stick with it, you know, and I'm really happy that I'm going to be getting that St. Christopher pendant. And I'll show y'all what that looks like too, but I'll also be making more YouTube shorts with this so you could see what it's like. All right. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're rocking anything from Monet or if you rock anything high purity and with, with daily wear, of course, and basically, you know, your thoughts on that and how you enjoy it. All right. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.